Hello Fabs, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got another amazing recipe for you all. I'm going to make homemade green seasoning. In this plate I have the scallion, the green vegetables, bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, some habanero pepper and rosemary and also here I have garlic, ginger and some onions and thyme. Then here is some salt to taste, some parsley leaves, all these vegetables are washed and some vegetable oil. You can as well use olive oil if you want. So guys, let's start by peeling and cutting the onions. This actually doesn't have any special measurements. You can add as you want okay you can add the garlic the onions and the ginger and the rest of the herbs as you want okay the quantity you prefer because it all depends on what quantity you want to make okay but i'm going to drop in the description box all the ingredients i use for this all the names of the herbs So now I'm going to go ahead as well and peel off the ginger. So if you're a lover of ginger, you can put the quantity you want. Here is the onions, ginger and garlic that I've already peeled and cut. Okay, so that it will be more easier. So here now I'm going to be cutting this spring onions as well so that it will be able to fit in into the blender. And be rest assured that the whole vegetables were washed properly with some salt. So please wash yours whenever you're going to make this green seasoning. One good thing about this green seasoning, it is very handy. It is something you can store in the fridge or in your freezer. It will help you to cook your food so easily without any stress blending or adding any extra ingredients. No wastage of any food at all. We have to cut everything. You know, all this helps is natural and it gives the food or the beef, the chicken, depending on what you want to use it for. I use it literally for everything I cook. So it helps to enhance the taste of your food. So just give it a try and you'll see what I am saying. It is ready to be chopped. So after peeling off everything, the veg and then the halves, you cut everything to fit it into the blender, add it in the blender and chop. If you prefer to blend it smoothly, you can as well do that. But I prefer to do the chopping with the blender, okay? Then I will add up all the veggies. The green bell pepper, the yellow bell pepper, and the red bell pepper as well. If you want it very spicy, you can add in your habanero pepper if you want. If you're not that type that love your food to be very hot and spicy, just ignore the habanero pepper or scotch bonnet pepper. So now I'm putting in the parcel leaf. Like I said, all this veg has been washed before using. Here is the rosemary. You can equally peel out this, the leaf of the rosemary or you, you can even add it that way. Although it all depends on the kind of blender you have. If it's able to blend it all well. That is fine. So after adding in everything in the blender, 
we will go ahead and add in some salt to taste so when adding in this salt whenever you want to cook with it always make sure you taste for salt first before adding extra salt to your meal So now I just added some dry basil leaf into it and also some lemon. So this basil leaf, you can use the fresh one or the dry one. It is okay. So don't mind the seed of the lemon there. I purposely threw it in there. We are going to go ahead to blend everything together. As you all know, using natural seasoning is very good and very healthy. It also gives your food special taste. Here I have blended the other one down to enable the rest of the veg to enter. So I added some vegetable oil. So remember in the first batch I made, I added some vegetable oil and I still topped this one with some salt because of the second batch I was blending or chopping rather. I'm going to go ahead to continue chopping this one to the smoothest way I want it to. Like I said, this seasoning I'm going to make is going to be so flavorful and will help to enhance the taste of your food. As you can see in there, the scotch bonnet pepper is not well chopped, so I'm going to cover it and give it a quick chop again before I continue. You are going to enjoy it with all this healthy herbs that I used. This is the consistency of how I want it to be. Can you see how it looks? Very nice and good. So as you can see, I've blended it this way. And then, um, like I said, you can blend it to be more smoother than chopping. So now that it is ready, I'm going to transfer it into this two jar glass container this will help me to take it more easily okay whenever i'm cooking because i use it literally every day then the one for the cube you can also preserve it to stay more longer in the freezer So like I said, you can use this green seasoning to cook your jollof rice, stew. You can use it to make your steak. You can use it to grill your chicken, to cook the chicken, to steam your vegetable if you want. It is so helpful in preparing your daily meal, to be honest. And because it is natural, that makes it so great. So this is a must have in your kitchen and you will truly appreciate it when you make a big batch of it and preserve it in your freezer, especially in the festive time when you will really need it and not just festive time. It is necessary to have in your freezer well preserved for your daily use. As you can see, this doesn't take much time to prepare. Under a few minutes, everything is ready. So easy and simple to make. So here it is. I've already added everything in the jars. I'm going to set it and preserve it in the freezer and in the fridge. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please kindly subscribe. Share this video to your friends and your family. I will really appreciate it. Thank you so much and see you 
in the next one. Bye.